Before watching this part, watch the first five parts in the right order. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk about this bad boy complex that the world claims women have. I want to say it right out, it's a hoax. Women aren't by nature attracted to men that treat them bad. That's not true. What is going on, however, is that culturally, throughout history, women have been conditioned to fall for negative father figures. Why? By distorting their image of their biological fathers, you have women trapped in a codependent cycle. And this codependent cycle was used in ancient times to trap the, the male population. That's how Babylon works. Babylon, in practice, is the re resentful misuse of feminine energy. I say resentful because those demons, those entities, can't stand females. But, in, in ancient times, before the Greek Empire, that's all they had. Since the Greek Empire was established by Apollo, things shifted. Now the focus was on Greek masculinity, which isn't real masculinity, but is a mathematical psychopath that's presented as a male role model. So the Greek Empire is all about promoting energetic homosexuality, with the hope to replace or undo females completely. Well, it will never work to undo females completely, but that's the purpose culturally and finan financially, that means also economically. So, Greek masculinity is what they call patriarchy. Okay? But before patriarchy, you had this resentful misuse of feminine energy. That's what Babylon stands for. Have you ever wondered why... Queen Jezebel. I'm not talking about the demon Jezebel, the entity, not about Queen Jezebel, that woman that was named after that entity. Why she had priests of Bill? It is because Bill is the bad boy women are conditioned to fall for. And this is the bad boy right over here. Bill. Officially, he's called Ball. That's, a, that's the exact pronunciation, Ball. This is Ball right over here. He's also called Kronos. He's also called Santa Claus in present American culture. And Santa Claus, that figure comes from Sinterklaas. The Dutch introduced Sinterklaas in the United States, but had to change to Santa Claus because the Americans didn't want this figure to be worshipped in America. In the Lord of the Rings, he makes a comeback as Gandalf the White. And throughout the centuries, the Roman Catholics worshipped this entity. Here they quote-unquote called him the prophet Elijah. Well, this is not how the prophet Elijah looked like at all. And here, this was a statue on the Notre Dame in Paris of Baal. But here they say it's the Apostle Thomas. Get out of here! And this is Father Time, a.k.a. the Greek god Kronos, which is Baal. What is this Baal worship about? Baal worship, in English is Baal, uh, and in some, uh, it's in some place in Britain it says Baal. But this, I'm going to say, use the exact pronunciation that the Phoenicians and the Greeks use Baal. This entity is all about trapping women in cyclical time. What do I mean by that? Women, by nature, have cycles, physical cycles. We know that. That's why they are fertile, to have children. So women are used to, um, let me say, they're used to doing things in a cycle manner. So, the demons figured out it's good, therefore, to use women's sense for cycles to trap the human population in cyclical time. Cyclical time is when you trap a population in a paranormal in, um, web of contention and this paranormal web of contention needs to be renewed over and over again. This is done by rituals. Under the Apollonistic rule 
that we are today, this has continued, but now it's centered around Helios, Apollo. In ancient times, it was about the misuse of femininity, now it's about enforcing patriarchy, which, of which Apollo is Satan's image of perfection, how Satan wants males to be. But this ball worship of keeping human population in a cycle of uh, in a cyclical time, it works because it makes use of women's primary need to have a stable father figure. So by giving them a false father figure, who is bitter and resentful, you can now use the anxiety of those women to trap men into carrying the negative load of those women. That's how it goes. So it appears as if the woman is protected by the men in the community, but that's not true. The woman is used to trap the men in, an, in a deadly, anxious state. That is what ball worship is all about. And throughout history, the pagan rulers enforce this false father figure on the world population. So that's why in the later depictions of Baal, he appears a bit older. There is no old age for uh, those fallen angels. Even though some of them may appear old now because they've been deformed by their fall. But that's all on them. But um, all of this, for example, here you see Baal um, depicted with a sword to decapitate someone. That's to instill fear and fright. That's to say to the females in the population, you better watch out for men. Because if you don't perform the right way, you're finished. And there are earthly males that are like that. But not all males are like that, okay? Most of them aren't. But this image of this false father figure or the bad boy is what what the pagan rulers enforce on females to let the females think that they need to fix a man. That's what it comes down to. Ball worship um, triggers women into thinking they need to fix a man. Because only when they fix a man they are a true woman. It's a hoax. I said it out loud. It's a hoax. It's not true. And this bad boy image can only be successful if the marital relationships in a community are in this order. Because if you have a community, let's say you have a community of 40,000 people and all the marriages except a few in that community are fruitful as Christ intended. Let's say that you come in that community where the, the male female relationships are healthy and you introduce this bad boy figure. If you come with it, the young girls, and then the teenage girls would say, Huh? What? What is this? Bad boys are attractive. Get out of here. In ancient times, it was not wise to go to a community where they worship the Most High and introduce ball worship. Because those who worship the Most High, first of all, they were not allowed to have any other gods, but even apart from that, the women would look at, would uh, feel disgust and contempt for this whole idea of worshipping this neck the father figure. They would think, what is this? But if you have a community that's traumatized, in which the majority of the men have traumas you're not even aware of, so they can't process them, you, you will have dysfunction in male-female relationships. The same you do when you have a lot of women that are traumatized. So when you have a traumatized community, it's easy to introduce ball worship because many of the marital relationships will be dysfunctional anyway. And women from dysfunctional households, they already have a wrong view of men due to, to their dysfunctional deaths. So you want to keep the population traumatized so you can enforce this negative father figure on the women. Because you know those women will grow up, they will get into relationships with men, and their toxicity will harm the men. Men of women are not even aware they're toxic. 
but you don't care about that as long as they have a negative father figure in their lives. And if they don't have a negative father figure directly, you'll enforce a negative father figure in the culture. That's what it's about. All of this is to cause women to not operate in the natural femininity. And under the current rule of the world, the, this Apollonistic rule, you, you don't really have ball worship in mass. What you now have is the Prince Charming figure, which is based on Apollo directly. But still, in practice, ball worship works perfectly. Nevertheless, Satan wants his son, Helios, who's also called Apollo, to be the center. So ball worship is still around, but it's not the dominant form of pagan worship anymore. And by the way, this entity survives under many other names today also. He is also is a figure in the Wizard of Oz and in Islamic cultures they use the name Allah to refer to the Most High, but that's their word to, to refer to the Most High. But the term Allah is also an abbreviation of al Ilah, which is another name of Baal. Am I saying that when Muslims in general say Allah, that they are intentionally worshipping this loser over here? No. But the Islamic rulers know very well who Allah really refers to. So when a common Muslim says Allah, they think they're referring to the Most High. But when Islamic rulers refer to Allah, that includes those terrorists that commit crime and terror in the name of Islam when they are saying Allah, this is who they are aiming at. They know the game very well. Well, I just wanted to explain this to you. And by the way, about Muslim and Islam, Islam is an ideology, it's a system, and Muslims are people. Okay? So I don't want any Muslim bashing in the comment section. I just explained the name of the entity they are calling. If you have a Muslim that sincerely wants to worship the Most High, they need Christ. I'm not saying you need to attend your church and become Catholic and all of that, or become Protestant. No, they need Christ. Because the church won't save you, Christ does. But most of them are not aware that the term Allah really refers to this loser over here. Here, he's depicted as sitting on a throne. Remember, those pagan gods, who are fall those fallen angels that became the pagan gods, they used to be the elite in the heavens. They used to run institutions. They were the men Christ invested the most in. Yet, they, those princes of heaven that fell, it's only a minority of the prince of heaven that fell, but the minority of the prince that fell, they forfeited their trust in Christ. And that's why they are in the state they are in today. Feeding off of negative energy of the, uh, that comes from the human population. That's why all those demons want the human population in a state of anxiety. Well, he has no throne anymore. He's been kicked out of heaven by the king of kings and lord of lords. But this entity still wants to be king. And he is appointed a throne by Satan in the demonic realm. Under Apollo, of course, because Satan wants all the, all the glory to go to his son. Because through that son of his, Apollo, he receives worship illegally. But there are cultures and places where this entity is still praised. Without people being aware of it. Well, this was part six. I'll make part 7 very soon. Above all, agree with Christ. It's all then you'll be at peace. So women, you can overcome this bad boy figure when you're Christ-centered. It's not about a figure. Okay? So, you don't need any sugar daddies. Because this sugar daddy, which refers to this guy, He's awaiting the lake of fire because he's an angry, bitter man who's also sexually frustrated and hates females. Okay, that's really it for now. I agree with Christ and be at peace.